Welcome, seekers of knowledge, to Light Seekers. Today, we delve into the enigmatic methods of one of history's most famous seers, Nostradamus. How did this 16th century French astrologer and physician foresee events that still captivate our imagination today? Join us as we explore the secrets behind Nostradamus' prophetic vision. Michel de Nostradame, known to the world as Nostradamus, published his renowned book, Les Prophéties, in 1555. This collection of quatrains has mystified readers for centuries, with many believing they predict significant future events. But what techniques did Nostradamus use to make these predictions? Nostradamus combined several methods in his quest to foresee the future. One of the primary tools he used was astrology, the study of celestial bodies' movements and their influence on human affairs. Nostradamus meticulously cast horoscopes, using the positions of planets and stars to gain insights into future events. Astrology was highly regarded during Nostradamus' time, and he was well versed in its intricacies. He believed that the alignment of celestial bodies could reveal the fate of individuals and nations alike. But astrology was just one part of his toolkit. Nostradamus also drew upon historical texts and ancient prophecies. He was an avid reader and researcher, immersing himself in the works of classical historians and earlier prophets. By understanding historical cycles, he sought to identify patterns that could repeat in the future. Another significant aspect of Nostradamus' method was his use of meditation and a practice known as scrying. Scrying involves gazing into a reflective surface, such as a bowl of water or a mirror, to induce visions. Nostradamus would enter a trance-like state, allowing images of future events to form in his mind. This practice was not uncommon among mystics and seers of the time. Nostradamus believed that by quieting his mind and focusing intently, he could tap into a higher consciousness or divine source of knowledge. His quatrains often reflected the symbolic and ambiguous nature of these visions. Nostradamus wrote his predictions in quatrains, four-line verses composed in a cryptic and metaphorical style. This allowed for multiple interpretations, adding to their mystique. His deliberate use of anagrams, wordplay, and symbolic language ensured that his prophecies remained open to future insights. For instance, Quatrain 9.83 states, the sun in 20 degrees of Taurus, there will be a great earthquake, the great theater, full up, will be ruined. This vague language has led to various interpretations, from literal earthquakes to metaphorical upheavals in society. But how accurate were Nostradamus' predictions? While the debate continues, there's no denying the enduring fascination with Nostradamus' work. His ability to weave together astrology, historical knowledge, and mystical practices created a legacy that still captivates us today. So, did Nostradamus truly possess the gift of prophecy, or was he simply a master of observation and interpretation? Perhaps the answer lies somewhere in between. His methods, combining scientific inquiry with mystical practices, offer a unique glimpse into the human quest to understand the future. Imagine Nostradamus in his study late at night, the only light coming from a flickering candle. The quiet of the night provides the perfect backdrop for his meditative practices. As he gazes into a bowl of water, the reflective surface begins to show him images, vague and shadowy at first, but gradually becoming clearer. These visions are what he translates into his quatrains. Let's take a closer look at some of Nostradamus' most famous predictions and how they have been interpreted over the years. His quatrains often predicted major events, such as the Great Fire of London in 1666, the rise of Napoleon, and even the French Revolution. Each of these events seemed to correspond with his cryptic verses, leading many to believe in his prophetic abilities. For example, Quatrain 2.51 reads, the blood of the just will commit a fault at London, burnt through lightning of 23's the 6, the ancient lady will fall from her high place. Several of the same sect will be killed. Many believe this predicted the Great Fire of London, which occurred in 1666, 23's the 6. 
Beyond scrying and astrology, Nostradamus also employed a technique known as bibliomancy, using books to foretell the future. He would randomly open a book, usually a significant text like the Bible or the works of Virgil, and interpret the first passage he read as a message or prediction. This method allowed him to draw connections between his present time and future events. Nostradamus believed that the answers to the future lay hidden in the past. By studying ancient texts and understanding historical cycles, he felt he could unlock the secrets of what was to come. This blend of scholarly research and mystical practice set him apart from other prophets of his time. Today, scholars and enthusiasts continue to study Nostradamus' work, attempting to decode his quatrains and apply them to current and future events. Some believe that his prophecies hold timeless truths that are waiting to be uncovered, while others view his work as a remarkable exercise in creative writing and interpretation. In our modern world, the fascination with Nostradamus endures. Advances in technology, such as computer-based astrological charting, allow us to analyze his predictions with greater precision. Yet, the mystical element of his work remains, a reminder that some aspects of the future may always elude our complete understanding. Ultimately, Nostradamus' legacy is a testament to the human desire to understand the unknown. His blend of astrology, historical knowledge, and mystical practices offers a unique perspective on the quest for knowledge. Whether you view him as a true prophet or a masterful observer of his time, there's no denying the impact of his work on our collective imagination. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the methods and mysteries of Nostradamus. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to Lightseekers for more explorations into the unknown. And remember, the future is what we make of it.